at 5, your ideas are wanted. The Brackenridge Park Conservancy and the city's Parks and Recreation Department want to know what you think the master plan should look like for the park in the center of it all. Pilar Arias shows us the first draft for Brackenridge and the reaction to the proposals. Those putting together the master plan for Brackenridge Park say they want fewer of these more green space and more people enjoying the great outdoors. It seems like a appropriate time that we look at how we want to program those future investments for Brackenridge Park. Those who frequent the heavily used park that surrounds the zoo, Japanese tea gardens and sunken garden theater understand the importance of cultural preservation. We love this park and we love this area and uh, we don't want to see the history, you know, we don't want to lose that. We do need change sometimes. so. But I think they have to be the smart changes. The roadmap for future investments in the park as it stands now includes adding turf to this major parking lot for a grand lawn. It also shows several off-site parking garages, adding walkways and improving water quality. One of the components of the first draft master plan includes closing the Hildebrand Avenue entrance to Brackenridge Park. Don't want to see changes or want to be a part of the process? The city's hosting six upcoming public input meetings. We will have visual boards that really identify exactly what the strategies to date are so that people can better articulate and know how they feel and, and respond on those particular visions. Costs aren't yet associated with the proposed changes to the park. That's because plans haven't been finalized and voters would need to approve bond funding to pay for the visions. Now, one of those public input meetings is about to get way he underway here in less than an hour at Lions Field Adult and Senior Citizen Center. We have all of the meetings already listed on KSAT.com as well as a link to the full draft master plan. Reporting live at Lions Field, Pilar Arias, KSAT 12 News.